Okay, so this is a month and a day. What day? It's a month. It's June. This is the June update. <clears throat> this is actually probably... Why does every time I start these videos, my throat decides to go, Hey, you don't want to talk in a talking video. But this month is the month... This, like, it, it's so well-rounded, everything I got. Usually it's like, okay, I have like 20 of this, one of this, and three of this. This time it's like a fair chunk of everything. And I'm quite proud of that. Um, I was going to say there's not a lot, but you know what, I'm, I'm not even going to lie, there is quite a bit. Uh, some of it I may have shown already in either update videos that aren't these videos, if you don't know, if you just watch these videos of mine, I do make other ones. But um, I've either might have shown it to you already in other things, or um, I may have got them last month and forgot. So let's get to it. First thing will be the video games. Um, E3 happened, and I started getting really excited for video games again, which hasn't happened in a very long time. Uh, quickly, I'll just say, I have the Wii U, and I might get a PS4. I don't care that the Xbox has redone their thing. Uh, this is coming from a guy who owned, originally supported Xbox, like Matt. But I don't care that they re went back on their uh, policies. The fact that they did that to their People who give them money was just rude and I won't be supporting them anymore. Now, getting to that, I got excited for games and I wasn't going to buy 360 games just because I was angry. But I bought a lot of PS3 games. Um, and all of them are games I've been wanting to play, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, the first one is PlayStation All-Stars. What can I use to prop this up? Can I do that? Yeah, we can do that. PlayStation All-Stars. Um, if you don't know, E3 showed the new Smash Brothers, and I got so excited for Smash Brothers. I actually made the E3 video talking about it, which is on my channel, but oh my god, the NS Mega Man, I got so excited. You don't even know. But PlayStation All Stars, I wanted something I could play to be like, yeah, Smash Brothers. And this is an okay alternative. It's not a very good one, but it's okay. Um. There's a lot of characters that I think they should have changed with other characters, but um, it, it's it's not a bad game. It's a, it's a very, very fun game, and I put a lot of time into it. Uh, I'll just tell you real fast, my favorite character is probably uh, Nathan Drake, just because I love Uncharted. And, you know, Raiden's fun, and Hitachi from Tekken is fun too. But, um, you know, there's some issues, mostly there's a lot of unbalancing. There's some characters that, um, it, how the game works, how you kill people is through a, a level system kind of thing. And certain characters there, it's one, two, and three. And their ones are weaker, their twos are better, and then their, their three is like everyone dies kind of thing. Some people's one is o OP, it's way too overpowered. But in other cases, it's garbage. And that's why I won't play certain characters, which sucks because there's characters I want to play, but they kind of ruin them. Um... I believe there might be some DLC characters out there that are free. I could be wrong about that, but I heard that there is. Uh, I'll have to check that out. I don't go on my PS3 online, so... Well, not often, but I do do sometimes for certain games. Uh, if you're wondering, my account... Uh, which one do I use? It's either uh, xx one talent one xx which has been on my YouTube channel for a while, or it's Video Game Logic. I don't know which one. Could be Video Game Logic. You can try that. But yeah. Uh, PlayStation All Stars, quite fun. I got it for fifteen dollars, so it's totally worth that. But anything over thirty is not worth it. Uh, the next one, let's go into it. This is going to be a little bit disappointing for you guys. Dishonored. I'm a huge Bethesda fan. Uh, probably a lot of you are also, if you know what I'm talking about. Bethesda made the, the Elder Scrolls games. They made the Elder Scrolls games, and they are. Amazing. Oblivion being my favorite. Skyrim is good, but Oblivion was my favorite. So when they announced a stealth kind of um, action game, I was like, oh my god. It's like Assassin's Creed meets Thief meets Metal Gear. I have to get this game. And um, out of the three games I got that day, this is my least favorite. A lot of people put this as like their, their favorite game of the year. I don't know why, I just couldn't. It's just, it's, I almost, I almost say that it's not, not that great. It's like very mediocre game. 
Um, but I, I probably am playing it wrong. I know it's a stealth game, and I play stealth games. I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. There's something I can't get my head around in this game, and I'm not sure what it is. I may have to go back. I've restarted it actually two or three times now, and I've only had it for a few weeks, and I've restarted a few times thinking, I'm just doing something wrong. I'll, I'll start again, and I just can't. I just can't do it. But I'll have to try again because it's Bethesda. Come on, you know. I don't know. But um, we're getting to the games that I had more fun with uh, lately. Lord of the Rings War of the North is a decent Lord of the Rings game. It's a, an action RPG. You know, you kill some guys, you move on, you grab their loot, you move on, sell the loot, buy some loot. It's. Just a, you know, it, it, for what it is, it's very mediocre, but the fact that it has the Lord of the Rings license onto it makes it better because you see characters, okay, for example, there's characters from The Hobbit in this uh, before the movie was out, so it's kind of cool to see that, and uh, it, the actual gameplay isn't bad at all. It's just very mediocre. Uh, it has some issues... Like, uh, you can't create a character kind of thing. It automatically, you have to select three characters, and that's, I don't like that at all. But you can give them, you know, armor, and I guess the armor does change what they look like, but when you back out to the main screen where it shows the three characters selected, they still look their, like their preset, which I think could have... That, that, that didn't have to be like that. If it actually looked like the character that you were building, like for example, when you put a hood on, they would have the hood in the main screen. Like It was would totally be able they could do it, but they didn't. But um, at the time, this game was, I think, doing very well. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I have not beat this game. Uh, and I haven't also beat Dishonored. I'm not sure if I actually said that. But I did beat PlayStation All-Stars because it is, you know, just a fighting game. Put that over there. Uh, the next game, I'm not going to show you... The, the next one I bought, I'll actually show you the one I got last, like buying wise. And that is Sleeping Dogs. Um, Hong Kong GTA, made by uh, Square Enix, which made Final Fantasy. But that team probably didn't make it, I'm not gonna lie, they probably produced it. But um, from what I've played, I haven't actually put a lot of time to it, it is more Saints Row 1 ish. Like, it's not silly. But it's trying not to be a GTA clone when it really is. Uh, for example, the whole game, they really, really push uh, kung fu type fighting. I'm not sure if you can see this when I move it up, but you can see like gang fighting, you know, they're all doing stuff. You don't really see guns. Uh, this game really, I'm not sure if it's going to focus back, hopefully it does. But um, you don't see guns really in this game unless you kill a cop. From what I've played, as I said, I've only played a couple hours. But like, you, you can kill a cop and then grab his gun. But the gun shooting is so weird in this game. Uh, you can tell <clears throat> the gun, they, it wasn't, I guess, made originally with the guns in mind, it seems. But so far, I haven't played too much of it, so I can't really give it a proper review, I guess you could say. But um, I got it for about 19 bucks, and I put my money into it, but I'm going to play much more of it. I'm going to have to put, play much more of it. Okay. This is the probably a funny, funny one. I've been wanting to play this game since it came out, but I refused to buy it for multiple reasons. Uh, one, why I was not going to spend sixty dollars on this bullshit, uh, considering uh, before it was even out, it was, it was said that it's like a four or five hour game. Um, so right off the bat, I wasn't going to put money into it like that. Uh, but. I heard about some unlockables you could get, and me being a guy who watched a lot of anime stuff, I was like, ooh, I want to play that now. And that is Lollipop Chainsaw. Now, before you say anything, the creator of Lollipop Chainsaw, I think his name is Studio. You might have heard of Studio 51, I believe. He made the No More Heroes. He's made uh, something of the Damned, Shadows of the Damned, I believe it's called. A lot of weird, quirky games that make fun of themselves. And, to be honest with you, out of all those games I showed you, I had the most fun with this one. It's 
like it feels like a game. When you know most games nowadays feel like movies, but that you play through, this felt like a game. It had like you know action multipliers, all that stuff. Yes, there was parts, you know, but it wasn't as bad as I think trailers made it look like. Um, but once you beat the game, it unlocks all these more like a whole bunch more costumes that you can unlock in your second playthrough. And some of them, the 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 the, the purple hair girl and. The brownish haired girl from High School of the Dead. You can get their uniforms and like their hair. And you could also get the girl from Dead Man Wonderland. The red and gray looking girl. You can get her uniform in the game. So yeah, it's kinda cool. And there's a few other ones, like um this is this this is a zombie, or this isn't a zombie, the magic girl one. I haven't seen the show, so I don't know. You can get her uniform or his uniform, I guess you could say. But this game was really, really fun, and I recommend it if you can get it. I got it for 15 bucks. I think even Amazon has it for around that. I recommend to play it. It's fun. It really is. But I wouldn't have spent full price for it. Um, yeah, and another cool thing uh, that might interest some people who are on my channel for the anime part of what I show. If we zoom this up, hopefully it might not blur in, but... Yeah, I probably won't. But that middle one says Kodanshwa Games. The guys who released Fairy Tale and in the manga. I was unaware they had a game studio or a game publishing thing. So that's also something to look for. And that's cool. But this game, really fun. And I actually recommend it out of all those games. But if I had to recommend them in an order, this one, PlayStation All Stars, Sleeping Dogs, and sadly Dishonored. I'm going to have to go back to Dishonored. And if I change my mind, I will talk about it. That was the games, I think. Um, what do I want to move on to? What do I want to move on to? We have manga and we have anime. You know, the anime is sticking out. Now, one of these animes, I think I may have shown already last, last month, but I'm going to show it again. I made a review. It was actually one of the earliest reviews this month. Uh, but I, 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 don't, I don't know if I showed it or not. But we'll talk about it. Actually, I'll just pull it out so we can talk about it first. And that is uh, now, then, here. What is it? Now and then, here and there. I did a review on this series. Hopefully, it'll stay. It's falling. There we go. It's okay. So it's quite old. It's about 2000, I think. And it's about a boy who f f runs into a girl named. Uh, I called her Ooh La La, but I think her name actually is La La Lu. La La Oo, La La Lu, La La Lu, I think is what her name is. I messed it up in my review, but I recommend going to see the review because I talk about this series more in depth. But it's basically runs into a girl, tries to save her because these people are chasing her, ends up in their world, this weird world, and he gets pretty much sent into an army. And it, there's a whole war going on just for water. And it's. There's so many issues going on in this show, it's amazing, and it's only 13 episodes. Now, personally, because how I am, uh, I recommend trying to get these DVDs, but I said this in the review also. Um, you can watch it on YouTube for free, legally, by uh, Manga Entertainment. It has a legal stream of it on YouTube. So I recommend going to go check that out. It's only 13 episodes, and I don't think you'll regret it, I hope. But, um, that's probably a really big one I recommend. Yeah. Uh, the next one we'll move on to. I'm going to try to show you the ones I've seen. Because some of these I haven't seen. Um, actually, we'll do this one. This I saw quite a while ago. I haven't rewatched it since owning this collection. But I got a decent deal. A very decent deal on this show. And I wanted to own it because I watched it uh, downloaded a long time ago. And I... I I needed to have a copy of it kind of thing. That is Angel Beats uh, by Sentai and Anyplex, apparently. I was unaware Anyplex had their hands in on this show, but um, oh, how can I explain this show? I think most of you have already seen it. Um, if, you're, like, if you're here for the gaming part of this, you haven't. But for anyone who's in the anime and manga scene, I think has you've seen this already. But basically, this Haruhi looking girl... Uh, Man, how can I explain this? Okay, so it's a bunch of kids. They're in purgatory, pretty much. Uh, they're dead. They have died, but they haven't moved on. And the whole show is about these kids who can't really die, 
with guns trying to kill Angel, who's trying to kill them, it seems. We really don't know until near the end uh, what's really happening, but this show has probably one of the most saddest moments ever. Period. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it too much because if you haven't seen it already, then go watch it now. It's 13 episodes. OVA is amazing. It's hilarious, but I don't want to get talked too much about it because if you haven't seen it, don't watch any other reviews if you haven't heard it until this point because reviews will spoil more things in it. Just go in blindly and watch it. It is quite good. So, yeah. I got this for about $19, by the way, when it's about a $40 series. Quite happy about that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see, what do we show, what do we show? This one I will show because this is one of the first things I watched this month. Um, and I didn't hate it, but we'll get to that. Um, this isn't the greatest cover for it. You may already know what it is by seeing that. This is a save edition, so we're just going to pull this out. And let's show you that so you can just see that real fast. That is Corpse Princess. Uh, it is a Studio Gainax show, which if you don't know Gainax, Panty Stocking, Evangelion, <coughs> um, this, there's a lot of other things, but... Okay, so there is, when you, when you die with a regret, apparently, you can become, you can like be reborn as this like monster thing. But if you're if you're a girl at a certain age, you can be reborn as a corpse princess who kill undead corpses, and they have their their partners who are the basically uh, priests who can help them do their thing. And they say after a, I think it's oh, I want to say a hundred, but I don't think that's the right number. It's I don't I'm sure it's not the right number, but after a hundred kills they will go to heaven and like move on and the show has its issues because yes it's Gynax and if you know Gynax the way that some people do you will know that the ending is going to be strange Gynax never knows how to do an ending ever by the way they did Fooly Cooly also so a lot of people might know that but like they do an ending that doesn't really make sense and then there's an extra episode that explains a character that was in the series near the beginning and it's like why are you giving me this backstory now it almost seems like there's an error on the disc and they put the wrong episode on um, hell if, if that happened then you can comment but the very last episode of the show should have been moved near the beginning um, and how oh, hell they could have even cut that episode and actually made a more proper ending because there's a whole big setup of bad people doing things and they don't really they don't end it how it probably should now i believe there might be a manga of this series and if there is maybe there's something going on with that but otherwise the show is really decent but it's guy and so you know what you're getting into i think but it's a save edition meaning America, I know I can get this probably around 15 bucks. Canada, it's about 20, 25. Um, but it's still worth it, considering it's a 24, 26 episode show. Uh, 25, 6, 26 episode show for about 20 bucks. Totally worth it. <coughs> okay. Hmm. I don't, I really don't want to talk about this because I don't remember much of it, but I know. Anyone who's watching right now probably knows everything about this movie, and they're probably gonna go like, "Dude, I'm unsubscribing." But um, that is spicking it away. That is an inside joke, sadly, to people. If you've watched my older videos, my shittier older videos, you might understand why that's funny. But spirit away. Hmm. <laughs> it was pretty much the film that got anime popular down here because it won an award. It's one of the only anime movies to win an award down here for best animated film. But, I don't remember much of this movie. You're probably thinking, why'd you buy it and not watch it? Well, I tried to watch it. 
And if you know anything about Miyazaki films, their beginnings are usually kind of slow, but then they pick up and go really good. Well, I don't know, I was in a mood and I didn't want to wait <laughs> for him to build up his story. I'm like, I, I just, I can't. And I stopped watching it before they even go into their whole world thing. So I can't really talk about it much, but I got a copy of it. It's about 15 plus tax or whatever. <coughs> for this movie is pretty cheap because it's expensive. It's like a $25 movie. Um, or roughly. I don't know why. Well, it's because it's Disney, kind of. Yeah, but... Um, I'm going to show this show first because the other show I haven't finished yet. But that is... Um, May... I heard, apparently, this aired at one point on YTV. If you're Canadian, you know what I'm talking about and you're awesome. But... I don't remember it being on YTV. My friend told me it was, but I don't remember. And that is Ghost in the Shell Season 1 Standalone Complex. There's a reviewer I have mentioned almost in every goddamn one of my videos, I swear, called Arcata or Glass Reflection. And he puts this show way, way high on his recommendation lists. And I saw the movie, the first one, and I'm like, yeah, it's alright. Uh, but I saw 2.0. 2.0 is not a very good movie. Uh, the, the regular edition's fine. The remixed version is uh, weird. But um, I never saw this version. Or the show, sorry. And I put it in and I watched it. It has its issues. Now, I believe I posted a review of this. I think. If I did, then I recommend going to watch that to hear more about it because... It has a couple big issues that I really think, I don't know, maybe the episode should have been mixed around a bit better, but you can hear my my review and my points there. Uh, I may put a link in the bottom, if I don't, then you can check it out on my channel, please, if you like to. Um, and the last one, which I haven't actually finished, but I'm liking is... Kino's Journey. Now, if you don't know, this is the ADV release of Kino's Journey, and they don't have it anymore. I believe it's Funimation that has it. So this set is actually kind of rare, I think. Uh, this version, I know it's now been reprinted, so don't worry about it being expensive. You can get it for about under 20, about 20. And um, I explain shows way too often like this, but it's basically what if Lane um, was a little bit lighter on its weirdness, and, oh, when well, you don't know what I mean, Lane, I mean Serial Experiments Lane, if you haven't seen Serial Experiments Lane, whoa, but, um, I'm not gonna blame you, but, it's kind of like Lane, imagine just a weird anime, mixed with, like, a traveling anime, because, to explain the show, Kino's a girl, I believe, who travels town to town or city to city or however it works and only will stay for three days because anything past three days you're not a traveler anymore you're now commit you know you're committed to where you are kind of thing and it just shows these different places one could be very very religious or the next one could be just their views on kids and adults or like I don't know, people who have weird traditions or towns who kill people for money and for actually, well, don't kill people, they actually slave people. But, um, a whole, oh, and a place that has, uh, everyone's a mind reader, so they can't live near each other because everyone knows what everyone's thinking. Just really weird issues that this show will show each episode. It's pretty episodic. Which, if you don't know what that means, it basically is each individual um, episode is its own, pretty much. If uh, you want to hear more about episodic stuff, you can go watch my Ghost in the Shell review. Because I actually talk about that a lot more. Uh, and the issues with Ghost in the Shell. But so far what I've seen, it's only been about a quarter, maybe half the show of this. I've been liking. It's weird. Know that going in. It's very weird. But... It's good. And I think I recommend it. I, I don't know who uh, who did this. To be honest with you, this was another show that um, 
are kind of recommended to people. And I had to try it because, you know, why not? <laughs> kind of thing. Now, when I look around, it looks like I've shown you everything, uh, anime wise. But if I miss something, I will show it to you next uh, thing. But we'll get into the manga. I have actually one last thing to show you guys in the end, which I've actually shown on my channel already. But I should not recommend. I don't know if you guys actually came from my channel. You could have came outside of YouTube, and if you have, you should subscribe. But uh, I have one cool thing I'll show you in the end. But the next thing I got is a hardcover manga. It doesn't happen very often with me. I love hardcover manga just because I know they're gonna last. But I only have a handful. And I actually own this volume already, multiple times, and that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I found a hardcover, and I'm like, I have to own this. I have to. I think they only made volume one hardcover. There is no extra volumes. It's like a limited edition collector kind of thing. But I um, got it for a couple bucks. I had this already. To explain this, there are about three different series of manga. There is Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist and like Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice or something. And I know there's more. Actually, there's a lot more than that. But Yu-Gi-Oh! The original series, if you don't know, in Japan, there was a season of Yu-Gi-Oh! That wasn't brought down here. Which is amazing. It's what if Saw was mixed with Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, the horror film Saw mixed with Yu-Gi-Oh! There wasn't really a card game. There was, but it wasn't the emphasis of the show. But this manga is what originally... The, that that's they call it season zero. If you search up Yu-Gi-Oh season zero, you will find it. But this is basically that season zero in manga form. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out at least episode one of season zero. It's the art looks different, people's names are different, but it's it's so, it's so cool. It's so weird. It's so cool. I should have thrown that hardcover on my stuff. Oh well. Uh, the next thing that I got at the same place I got that, which I haven't read so I can't really talk about, is Suikoden. It's something like that. It is a video game, manga, and I played the fourth one, and I was like, eh. But apparently the second game is like very rare on the PlayStation 1. Um, I haven't played it because I do have actually many rare PS1 games. Just not that one. Um, actually, I should show some of my rare games one of these days because some of them will. Well, you guys haven't. I don't see. I don't think you guys have seen some of my cool shit that I have in video games because I don't show it that often. But um, yeah, I don't have the games except before. Don't know. Haven't read this. But it's Tokyo Pop. If you ever see this logo uh, on manga, pick it up because they're out of print. Uh, they're gone. That studio. So. You know, try to grab their stuff when you well you can kind of thing. Um, now these are the bigger ones. I don't want to show you the big stuff yet of this because this 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 month had two big releases in manga. Uh, the next one is bo 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 bo. I've watched episode one of the anime multiple times because I don't understand. It's kind of like what if Excel Saga was made for children. If you know what Excel Saga is, come on, dude. But, I recommend going to see Excel Saga. <laughs> Not Bobo Bo. Bobo Bo's stupid. Now, from what I understand, this manga is not actually the first volume of manga. They took, like, their favorite parts, the American studio, like, you know, American Shonen Dump, and they put it into volumes. From what I understand, this isn't the true volume one. I could be lying to you, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. There, there was a weird thing going on. I know there's a weird blah 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 issue. <laughs> oh, so much controversy with blah blah blah. My God, but um, it's just a gag manga, I guess. I haven't read the manga. I have seen the show, so it's a gag manga. And yes, that's his hair. And those are those black lines are his nose hairs. So yeah, um, now I've read, okay, alright, so I don't know if there's going to be a weird camera angle change, but my battery, no, my battery, my battery is fine, my memory died, I had it a lot of delete, I'm like, I'm not going to talk for that long, I don't have that much, I'm sorry, 
<laughs> but um, back to what I was saying, we're going to move on to the one thing that isn't as popular this month, I guess, and because it was released actually a while ago, and that is Bakuman 2. As you can tell, I'm still reading it. Um, Bakuman, I'm liking so far. It's written by the guy, done by the same people who did Death Note, which that says a lot there, but I've noticed in Bakuman, a lot of the stuff they're talking about, because it's a better story about two guys making manga and trying to be popular in Shonen Jump, is probably stuff that the actual creators went through. And it's kind of cool that way. Um, I think a lot of people know what Bakuman is, I think. Um, but basically in this volume they are finally submitting something to Jump and then stuff just keeps on moving. They keep on sending things to Jump and stuff. People keep talking about it. But I'm not done it so I can't really talk too much about it. Um, I'm liking it. There's about 20 volumes I think of Bakuman. Maybe more. Probably more. But um, if you don't want to buy uh, Bakuman right now but you're planning on it eventually, in a few months they are releasing a huge pack. For $100 you can get 20 of them. Which is $5 a piece, much better than retail, and that will be happening soon. I think in November. Uh, One Piece is doing 1 to 26 for like 120 or so something like that. And I'll probably be picking that up because I don't have the initial first One Piece volumes. Which was an amazing segue to One Piece 67. I love One Piece. I really do. And I'm so happy that Mermaid Island is done, and we are in a uh, Punk Hazard Island or whatever it's called. Okay, I want to say this, guys. I read the English releases, so shut up. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, they are they're about in volume 70 in Japan. I don't read scanlations. I read it when it's officially released because I'm not a prick. I'm sorry if that is rude to you, but I'm supporting the thing I like, kind of thing. Um, volume 67 is great so far. We're, we're getting so much more information about what's happening. There's a guy who is very similar to um, Buggy the Clown, uh, the guy who can has he ate the Chop Chop fruit, I think it's called. And there's another one of the uh, four Emperor dudes is on the island for some reason, and now. Uh, Smoker and his girl is on the island and they've actually swapped bodies and so has most of the cast members of One Piece have swapped each other's bodies because The Emperor dude was able to do something. I'm not gonna say who it is But he was able to do a thing and stuff's going down uh, and all while They're trying to uh, free these children out of this island that half of it is on fire and the other half is covered in snow Now I've been thinking on watching, I think it's on Crunchyroll, one of the legal streaming, uh, streaming sites, to start watching New World in the actual anime because I've just been reading the manga. I haven't actually seen the actual, like, you know, the, the physical TV show uh, in New World. Now, you should know already, I've watched a lot of it that's been released down here, but I haven't watched New World. So I'm, I'm thinking about Crunchyrolling it or whatever allows me to do it free, maybe Funimation, and watching some New World. Um, actually, I'm not gonna lie, I did watch episode 517, which is the very first one, so if you want to watch it also, 517 upwards is where you want to go. And it looks so much nicer, artwork-wise, than what we have now, but One Piece, awesome. Don't want to talk too much about it, though. Here's the last one. Haven't read it yet. I've been watching the anime. I'm just gonna show it. I'm not going to even talk about it. Because the community for this show, and manga, I'm sorry if you're watching this and a fan of it, have been very, I don't know, they're very rude half the time. And I'm not, I'm not saying everybody, I'm just saying the community for the thing I'll show is just, they're just rude half the time. And they're one of the worst communities, com communities for anime I've seen in quite a while since something like Naruto or something started happening. The whole Naruto, One Piece, Bleach thing. This community is almost worse than that. And it's a shame. I don't know why it's happened like this. Um, and I apologize if you're one of these people. I'm not saying everyone who watches this, because I watch the show. I really like the show and I really like the manga. Just the people. 
Oh my god, I, I made a, view, a, a review of some of the episodes and stuff of it, and people were shitting on me because I said things. They're like, oh, prove your point, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, I, it's, I'm not going to go out of my way and show you what I'm talking about. Just do it yourself. So I'm not even going to say the name of this volume. I'm just going to show it to you. It's volume five. And I apologize that I won't talk about it. Or I probably won't be talking about this show, this manga, probably ever again, unless I see that the community isn't, isn't assholes. It's, it's a shame. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know, sorry, but just my personal thing. They've been being, being very rude uh, in everything I've seen and the one thing I did, so yeah, that's that. But... The last big thing I'm going to show, because I'm not going to end it on a downer like that, is a game console. I got a new game console. Um, if you don't know, I own every game console except for a Vita. Yes, I like Atari, you know, Turbo Graphics, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, all that, right? But, I have the newest console that's been released. A lot of people might be mad about this, some might be happy. And some of my new subscribers subscribe because of this reason. That is. Yuya. Yuya is an Android based console, if you don't know. And uh, yes, it can play phone games, but it can play some really cool things. And it's got an, a, a really cool community. Totally opposite from that community over there. But this community for this little console is awesome. And there's a lot of people making some really cool things that I'm kind of excited for. Now, do I recommend going to buy one? Um, if you know how to get your way around a computer, uh, and I really mean it, like you know, doing a little bit of you know, moving files, a little bit of a little bit of coding, a little bit of this and that, and you are at all interested in Linux, if you ever use Linux at least once, you might want to check out this console. Now, if you don't know, uh, you're gonna see the two sides of mine. I apologize for the two sides of mine, uh, <laughs> but I use. Let's minimize some of this stuff a Linux-based computer. And Android, if you don't know, is a is a Linux type thing that Android, uh, that Google made. And this console, it, it, it's, it's really cool. Um, the controller, in my original review, because if you don't know, I actually do an unboxing of this, and I do actually another video. I have a few videos of this console, uh, but at first I hated the controller, but I got used to it. It's actually really nice now that I'm used to it. And the console, is it's a nice little thing. This is the first time I've actually unplugged it since I've gotten it. And it's only $99, and it's really nice. And it can play Wii graphic-style games, but it's not meant for that kind of thing. It's meant for just open kind of gaming Yes, there's emulation you can do on it, and, you know, there's homebrew games and applications, you know, XBMC, so you can watch your anime and stuff like that. And it's cool, and for 99 bucks, it's, I, I like it. I think I've even put my money probably back into it by now, I would, I would say. And, um, I can probably safely recommend it. It's $100, but I think I can recommend it. Um, before we shut this video off, I'm going to show you the back here. It has an HDMI. If you do not have an HDMI, then this won't work for you, and I apologize. But it has Ethernet cord, an actual Ethernet cord, and it has wireless and Bluetooth. You can put up your headset to this thing and don't have to have sound on your TV, which if you know, awesome. Uh, power, USB, and mini USB. It's really cool. I like it, and I recommend to get it. And that is the end of my June update. Now, I don't know, we're still recording, but if there's any sound issues, I apologize. That happens from how I'm recording this. And, you know, comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't unclicked the video already, which you probably have. And uh, we do this every month, me and myself. And if you have any recommendations, any insights on anything, you want to see something in more detail, put it below. And I will hopefully answer you or do what you want me to do because I have nothing else better to do. And yeah. And my awesome mouse pad.